to see you thank you for joining me hope you're all doing really well this week and it's March can you believe it it's March we are entering the spring at last although the weather doesn't seem to be entering the spring at all it feels a bit more like autumn quite frankly but never mind what can you do it is March can't believe how quickly time is going this has been another very busy week for me here in the Johnson household. Lots to show you in this week's video. But at the weekend, I actually did quite a bit of cleaning because Paul has actually moved house this week. So I helped him at the weekend clean the property that he left and then sort of helped him with some bits and pieces into his new property. But what that has actually inspired me to do is to do a bit of a cleaning video for you this week and give you some tips and tricks on how to make your home more welcoming to visitors, decluttered, smelling great, getting rid of any pet hair or smells. And there's even some tips and tricks for people who hate cleaning. I don't know who these people are, but there are tips and tricks for you too, if you do hate cleaning. And also, once you've got your house in a really good, or at a really good level, standard of cleanliness and declutter, you only have to spend a couple of three minutes every day keeping on top of it. So once you're at that stage, I'll show you how to keep it that way as well. And done lots of shopping. Nancy's on form this week. Everybody's well, thank God. No illnesses, no disasters as of yet. So let's get into this week's video. I hope you enjoy it. Right, so first of all, five things in your home that visitors will always notice. The entryway. The entrance to your home is the first impression visitors get, so it pays to make it a good one. Smelling nice, looking clean, you can't go wrong. The smell. You may not think your house has a smell, but it's the first thing that visitors will notice, good or bad. Clutter. If you have clutter in your home, it's going to be noticed and clutter makes a house seem unclean, even if it's not. So decluttering equals cleanliness as well as tidiness. A dirty bathroom. There is nothing worse than a dirty bathroom for visitors. They will spot it straight away and instantly think the house is unclean and you are unclean. We don't want that. Pet hair. If you have pets, cats, dogs, pet hair will be in your home and it will also be on your visitors' clothing. They don't want that. A little hoover up every day and a few of the little tips and tricks here to show you to get rid of pet hair. Here's eight tips to create a cosy and warm home. Add texture. Adding a few cosy pieces like blankets and cushions in warmer, neutral tones is the easiest way to instantly warm up and make a room feel cosy. You could opt for a nice soft rug. You could add candles, add fairy lights, and make your memories count. Add any special pictures in stylish picture frames that you can get really cheap from places like Home Bargains, Poundland, B&M, will make for an absolute cosy environment and style a bookshelf like a pro, not necessarily with books. Upgrade your bedding. Now I always opt for pure white bedding. I think it looks clean, it feels nice, and well, you can have whatever accessories or colors around your bedroom. If your bed is white, you can accessorize with all different colored cushions or lamps, or you can change the colors of your walls white's the way to go. And add plants. Plants really does add texture 
and coziness to your home. Eight ways to brighten a room on a budget. Start with lighting. Make sure you use warm, inviting light bulbs in the ceiling and have plenty of lamps around your room also. Add mirrors. Adding mirrors brings lightness and brightness to any room. Purchase inexpensive indoor plants. You could even buy faux indoor plants. Again, places like Home Bargains, B&M, have got some very realistic looking indoor plants. Accessorise, but don't go mad on accessories. Again, you don't want it to look cluttered. Experiment with sparkle. And always go white. And here are seven tips for people who hate cleaning. Always remove excess mess. Everything should have a home. Don't put off washing the dirty dishes. Keep your cleaning supplies when you will always use them. So if you have, like me, a house on three stories with a bathroom at the top, Keep a little caddy with cleaning supplies on the top floor so you don't have to think, I've got to go all the way downstairs to the kitchen to get my cleaning products and I can't be bothered today. You will never not be bothered if your cleaning products are to hand. Set yourself a challenge. It doesn't have to be a big one. It can be just a zone for a morning or a day. One room each day. You don't have to do the whole house in one go. Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't have to be a perfectionist. Nobody's house is perfect. Even if it looks like a show home, there will be areas that are not perfect. It doesn't have to be, and it shouldn't be. It should be cozy, warm, inviting, and clean. Have a hurry up cleaning routine. If you've only got five minutes, just get the toilets done for now. They're the most important thing, perhaps the sinks as well, or make sure the kitchen work tops are nice and hygienic for you to cook. You will instantly make your bedroom look clean and tidy if you make your bed every day. I try to do mine as soon as I'm up and out. Today I've washed the sheets, so I am now going to put the duvet back on. This is the trick that I always use. Put your sheets on, lay your duvet cover on the bed inside out, then put your duvet on the top, roll it all up as if you're making a big sausage roll, tuck the ends in and then unroll the whole thing and your duvet cover will be tucked into all the corners nice and neatly and can be spread back on the bed with no lumps and bumps. It's absolutely perfect. So those are a few tips and tricks on how to keep your house looking spotlessly clean and tidy and smelling great always. And all you need to do now each day is just do a few little bits and pieces just to keep on top of it because it's all sorted and beautifully clean and organised. Couldn't be better. Say that again. Come the star is dead. What, what does that mean? How Sounds very, very sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you in Spanish? Much is gracias, bien. Very good, thank you. Very good. So very good. I know, nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Nancy? Uh, very well. Oh, good. I wonder what you're going to say then. Yeah. There was a. Um... <laughs> so. Good. Thank you. We're at home. Let's be honest with that. Let's see what I'm very good for an old doll. Very good for an old doll. Because that's very great. American called me an old doll. Anyway. I'm very American. Go on. Tell um, me more. Well, we're going to tell everybody here on YouTube that we have booked a holiday for you, haven't we? Oh, God. Tell me more. Well, we're going to go to Devon. And we're going on your birthday. Aren't we? We're going to have three nights at your favourite hotel. Yes. And all inclusive. Mm -hmm. All inclusive. I think it is. Um, 
Well, certainly bed and breakfast, but we'll probably have our evening meal there as well because you like the restaurant there, don't you? Well, I think, yes, well, that's entirely up to you actually, but. Um, or we can go with the flow when we're there. Exactly. I know who's running, excuse me. Um, in the bucket and go out. Yeah. <laughs> just ignore us, that's all we don't want. Mother. You've just been ignored by your neighbour. Yeah. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Maybe he was concentrating on other things. Give me the benefit of the doubt. So yeah, we've booked you a holiday. So I'm going on holiday, and then we're going on holiday. Yeah. That'd be lovely, won't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Why not? You wanted an excuse for a party, well. Well, we'll probably have one of those as well at some point. <laughs> any, with me, any excuse for a party? Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> However, I think an element of that, as I've been reliably told this week, is because the Morrison's card, like the loyalty card that they do, yeah. is now working a little bit like Tesco's club card. So there are prices on the shelves of what you will pay for the item if you don't have a Morrison's card. But then if you've got a Morrison's card, you get uh, some discount. money off that, a discount off that. Brilliant. Well, have you but it, Yes, we've got one. Okay. But it just means that they've put their prices up, shelf price up, to sort of get you to have their loyalty card, I suppose. But anyway. There's a method in the madness. They're all, yes. There's always a method in the madness, and sometimes a con, quite frankly. But there we go. What can you do? It is what it is at the moment, and we just have to be thrifty where we can. Do you call them? Okay. Or is it is it no, <laughs> maniacs? Maniac. If she's anybody on a motorbike, maniac. <laughs> well, I think motorbikes are very dangerous. And I think it's more dangerous for the person on the back on, on the back seat. The pillion. Yes. You know they're only they're holding on the bar, but you're only holding on that person. You've also got a back handle that you hold on to as well. Okay. It depends on the bike and it depends on... In fact, I went past a bike once and the, um, there's only one man on it. There was no pillion. But it got a leather jacket on and on the back of his jacket it said, if you can read this, she's fallen off again. <laughs> <laughs> I did quite like that. been a pillion quite a few times on a yes. motorbike but those days are behind me yes, and well, never, sometimes I liked it because especially if you were somewhere picturesque because it was almost like yeah. you know if you're in a car and you're looking at the view out the the window yeah. it's like you're yeah, in the watching a film if you like yeah but when you're on a motorbike and you're going through that because you've got no glass surrounding you apart from your helmet you feel like you're in the film. It can be very, yeah. you know, makes it more picturesque. But I don't miss it because I was never overly comfortable okay. on a piece of metal with two wheels. So at the end of this month, the car boot sales will be starting oh, up right. again. Yes. I've got lots of things that you, can go you to must, the car boot sale. Grace and loves doing one. Come and have a look in my house and see what can go with that. Good sort out. So this week Paul has moved house and I spent a lovely afternoon and evening with him and I bought him a few little housewarming presents that I think he really really liked. Helped him with a little bit of cleaning and tidying up. I absolutely love doing that as you know and my reward was a beautiful home cooked meal. I was treated to a braised short rib of beef with a cheese and chive mash and it was delicious. I will link the description down below for you.
here we are having our moment on the bed and what a lovely meal I had this week at Paul's house. It was lovely and hopefully Paul will be joining us a bit more regularly on the channel because we've had a bit of a chat and I think what he'd like to do is incorporate some more cooking slots into the channel and he has lots of ideas and he's so good at cooking that I think it would be a really good idea to get him more involved in the channel, more and more recipes, and we'll just see how that all pans out. We haven't sort of planned anything in too much detail yet, but it's certainly an idea we've had, and I think it would work really, really well. And especially with us going abroad in a couple of three months time, he could perhaps do some Mediterranean dishes, maybe some tapas, something like that. So watch this space, keep you posted on that. Mum is super pleased that we have booked her little holiday as well to Devon. She's so pleased that she's going back to this hotel that she's loved for years. Used to go there with my dad. I took her for a couple of days last September and she just loves it. It's very familiar to her. She loves the hotel, she loves the food, she loves the area, she loves everything about it. So we've booked that going on her birthday at the end of June for three nights. So that would be great. And talking of her on holiday, we were having this conversation the other day. She was telling me all about the trip she used to do in the 50s and the 60s and the amount of time she's been to Spain, what have you. And I wanted to show you this picture, which I find absolutely adorable, which we found this week in her millions of photograph albums that she has. And this picture was taken in 1948. She was 18 years old. She thinks this picture was taken in Spain. I don't think it was because I don't think there would have been flights to Spain then. And I think this is actually taken in Ireland. But look at her on this horse in her bikini. I absolutely loved it. And it's over 70 years old, that picture. Isn't that amazing? She is amazing. Bloody marvellous. Anyway, thank you also for the comments after last week's video about little Albert, who is absolutely fine, by the way. But quite a few people said, oh, Albert was so sick. I hope he's OK. Take him to the vets. Do this, do that. But Albert is absolutely fine. He has always been a sicky cat right from the time he was born and he'll be 10 in May this year. He's always been a sicky cat, a regurgitator of food and does it every week, all the time, has done all his life. So he's absolutely fine. Thank you very much. And all in all, it's been a very busy week. I have not received the deliveries I was hoping to show you in this week's vlog. I don't know what the delay has been, but they are now on the way. And what I will show you in next week's vlog are some really nice purchases, I hope, from next. So I am now getting ready to change my wardrobe. So I'm going to have a wardrobe sort out this week, get rid of all the winter clothes, even though it does still actually feel a bit like winter outside, but ever the optimist. I'm going to get rid of all the winter clothes, have a good sort out, see what can go to the charity shop, what might be able to go to a car boot sale maybe, they're starting up soon. And anything I want to keep obviously, but put those away for the new season, spring, summer. And I've also purchased some new summer clothes and some new holiday clothes. So I will look forward to showing you that. I've got some other things coming as well. So there'll be plenty to show you in next week's video, but I hope you have enjoyed this week. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe if you wish. And until next week, thank you for joining me. I hope you have had a great week. Let me know in the comments below what you're up to and if you're doing anything exciting or anything nice planned and what have you. Have you booked any holidays yet? I'd love to hear all about it. And in the meantime, until next Sunday, take care, stay in the boat, keep doing all things good and I will see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye. <laughs>